I'm showing you how to make a crowd pleaser, one pan wonder, a seafood paella. Paella de marisco. So I've got a paella pan here. My coals are nice and piping hot. Big glug of olive oil and of course some butter. Now let that go. I'm gonna add some onions and red peppers that I've just sliced up. A fresh bay leaf that is gonna go in. So I've got some garlic here that I've finely chopped. So I'm not gonna add it in now because I don't want it to burn. My onions being sliced bigger and my peppers, they're gonna take longer to get that yummy car caramelization. Woo, English. <laughs> so just let that go. And then once you see that onion going nice and caramelized and you can smell it and it's just delicious, then you add your garlic. I'm gonna add the garlic now. I love lots of garlic. And then I've got some chorizo that I've sliced up. Let that also kind of just ooze those beautiful red colors and just yumminess and get some nice caramelization and goldenness going in there. Here's a fun fact. 29th of March is National Spanish Paella Day. So make this on that day. A bit of paprika. And now I'm going to add my rice in. So I want to like toast it a little bit, let it get coated with that butter and oil and all those yummy spicy flavors. I mean, look at that gorgeous color. Once you see the grains, like the outer layer getting a little bit translucent, then you know it's gonna be ready. I'm gonna deglaze my uh, dish with some white wine. You really don't have to use white wine if you wanna keep your alcohol free. But I just love the acidity that the white wine brings, that burst of freshness. You know, as we were frying the spices and the garlic, some little pieces kind of just got stuck on the base. So you add your white wine, a bit of liquid to kind of just lift everything so that, you know, all those flavors get into the rice. I like to cook the, the alcohol out. So I want to cook the white wine until the pan is almost dry. It's not like a big alcohol flavor taste to it, but it just gives that nice burst of citrusy, acidic uh, freshness to the dish. Cool, that looks about right. And now it's time for my saffron. So what I've done with the saffron is taken a few strands that I've um, steeped in a little bit of hot water. That goes in. Make sure to stir that all in. Oh, look at that color. Time for my fish stock. That looks amazing. I'm just gonna let that simmer, let the rice absorb a lot of that liquid from the fish stock. When making paella, you use a short grain rice, like arborio rice, which is very similar or exactly the same as making risotto. So with the risotto, the difference is you want to agitate it to get that starchiness out so it's nice and creamy. With paella, I still want it to be fluffy and flaky and get like individual grains. So I don't agitate it. I've added my stock. I'm just going to let that go and let that simmer. Leave it alone. Pepper. I love a lot of pepper. And some salt. This is gonna be so divine. Now my prawns also go in. And then of course, some peas. Scatter them around. And how you know your seafood is cooked because you do not want to overcook your seafood. Once the mussels open, ready. Once the prawns turn from this gray color to a nice beautiful rosy pink color, they are cooked. Here's a tip that I learned from the great Abigail Donnelly. You know you have a perfect paella once you have something called a socarat. So that's the bit of the crustiness that forms at the bottom of the pan. Yummy, crusty, it's cocotte, you know. Similar to like uh, Persian cooking when you make like a tadir, where you have that beautiful crust of the rice. And you know your paella is perfect. If your prawn curls and makes a C, that C stands for cooked. And if it curls all the way and makes an O, then it's overcooked. We don't want that. It's looking ready and beautiful. I'm just gonna finish it off with a generous squeeze of lemon. Ooh, yum. Look at that. Look at how glorious all the seafood is. Nice and popping, nice colors, beautiful. Let's eat. What do they say in Spain? Salud. Bon appetit. So yummy, the rice is perfectly al dente, still fluffy individual grains, that spiciness from the chorizo, then you hit with that burst of freshness from the lemon. Mm, that's perfect. Happy cooking. Oh, chorizo prawns, mussels chorizo, onion rice, 
peppers, garlic, and olive oil.